Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Could the choir please come forward? Harmony Choir, please come forward. again. Let's all please stand and sing page 164, Great Gospel Songs and Hymns, 164. your bulletin with you want to look at the front of it no i just want to read this today because it goes along with today's message as well if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray Amen. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land Amen. 
What a truer scripture in a time like right now. If we can turn from our wicked ways and he can see our face and hear our hearts, he will hear our land. Thank you. You may be seated this morning. We want to start out first off by just bragging on you all for a minute and saying thank you for the last week, everything that was done uh, in preparation for the car show, uh, all the way from the... Uh, Adults and youth. I'm not going to say the youth came and cleaned up everything Wednesday night. There was a lot of adults here as well. So if you sacrificed your time and your effort this week for the car show, what a wonderful thing it was. I see Mike coming in the back, so I'm going to try to wait just a minute. We'll finish talking about that. But uh, huge success yesterday. I think we had 61 cars. We had one late comer come in. 61 cars came and registered and showed up. We had a few that rode through that didn't register. So uh, 61 cars that came and registered showed up. Got rid of all the barbecue, got rid of most all the donuts. There's still some donuts back there if you want some to take with you. But I think the uh, last total we had last night was over $11,000 uh, before expenses were taken out. So that's a great thing for you. <laughs> Do you want to say anything about the car show? No, I just appreciate everybody. Good to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good, I guess. Yeah. Again, he's too tired to speak. He's too tired to speak. Well, seven miles in the parking lot yesterday for Google Fit. Yeah. All right, so we had a wonderful time, so thank you all for that. And um, Audra got a compliment yesterday that she shared with me about the lady, about the working of the church. Do you want to share that? Just for a minute. Sure. Now that you're here, I heard you. <laughs> she basically was like, there was more than one time where people were like, I've never seen a group work like this. The older people are working with the young people, and everybody just works like fine tuned. And I was like, hey, we're just blessed to be that way. And she was like, it's awesome. And I was like, well, thank you. And there were a lot of them that had been here year after year after year, and they said they really looked forward to it. And um, there were some that were new, and they were like, we're coming back. Yeah, and that's what I've seen. I've seen a lot of working together yesterday, uh, young and old, changing trash cans, working in the kitchen. 260 fried pies, is that what I've seen? 260 fried pies, and they were all rolled out and made. Wonderful. They actually rolled all of them out, but we only made 250. Uh, they rolled all of them out. So, <clears throat> wonderful success. Uh, this week, coming up, Wednesday the 28th, or not this coming week, the next week, um, Wednesday the 28th will be our trunk or treat. Melba, you got anything you want to say on that? Just uh, come, decorate your cars, and we'll be giving uh, awards to the best decorated trunk. We're going to have tables out there on the gym, on the concrete. You'd rather sit at a table. But, yeah, kids dress up, wear your costumes, come out, and we do have an ice cream. Okay. Looking forward to that. <clears throat> the 31st, Rock Creek Trunk or Treat, 4 to 6. We need help for the hayride. Kip's preparing the trailer for that now. Kip and Josh and them and volunteers are needed to arrive by 3 p.m. Uh, going to park up at the tennis courts and walk down. And Buffy's going to say a little bit about that, if you would, Buffy. Thank you, Buffy. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of it. Appreciate it very much. All right, then, uh, so we need as much help as we can that day. Loading, unloading, handing out. Uh, I don't think we'll hand out candy this year, will we? No. So. If you do, we're just asking that you hand it to the individuals instead of letting them grab it out of the bag or out of the box or whatever okay. you have. So 
So we may do some individual wrap stuff for that. All right, so let's remember that. November the 1st will be uh, two weeks. November the 1st, we'll have a baptizing here at 11 a.m. service. Um, so uh, we'll be taking care of a couple of baptizings we have that should have been through the summer. And we're going to get those. Kelly and Katie are going to get baptized that Sunday. So um, we're looking forward to that, ain't we, Kelly? Looking forward to it. So uh, we'll be doing that the Sunday, November the 1st. Um, tentative dates for Vertical Student Ministries Winter Retreat is January the 15th through the 18th. More details to come. You have any? Uh, We're just working on it. Just working on it. Okay. And again, thank you to everyone who helped with the car show. Got several prayer requests that's been added this morning. We got two offline. Uh, Dennis Pilcher, who's a deacon over at Mount Tabor, he's um, had a lot of problems over a lot of years with his liver and had a, actually had a transplant and his health has been declining. He's been in the hospital for several weeks, if not a month now. And uh, we had a request, please lift him and his family up. So remember Dennis Pilcher, Angie O'Connor, uh, and uh, Billy Rice had a friend that passed away this morning with aneurysm, Chuck Kirby. So remember the Chuck Kirby family and remember Billy and Teresa Rice. And then also um, we were here Friday and Ann Horner came by and told us that Sammy had not been feeling well and she ended up leaving, going home and taking him to the emergency room. Spoke with her this morning. Uh, Sammy has had a light stroke and uh, is in uh, Cumming Hospital. And uh, they're determined this morning, um, and the reason I'm sharing so many details, she wants me to share these details. They determined this morning his heart's in AFib and he's producing blood clots. And since there's been so long for the stroke, they can't give him the clot buster shot to help with the blood clots. So uh, right now, Sammy has lost use of his left side and will be going to rehab later this week. So please remember Sammy and Ann as you pray. And uh, of course, he's wanting her there and she can't be there because of COVID restrictions. So please lift up Sammy and Ann Horner and the doctors that are taking care of him. Any others to add to that this morning? Okay, Nick, well, Barr lost his grandfather. Yes. And if you get that information, if you'd pass it on to Betty Ann, she'll put it on the prayer request. Anybody else? Anything else? Christy Moore was grandmother of Yeah. All right, let's remember Christy uh, Moore. She visited with us last week. Let's remember her grandmother, uh, Rudine. She's uh, in the uh, hospital in and out of the hospital complications and her kidneys are starting to fail and some other things going on so let's remember her yeah her last name's reese is that correct beard 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 okay i'm Trying to remember. Uh, I'm old and my mind fails me. I know. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm going to say something after all. <laughs> I knew we were too blessed for that. <laughs> well, we are because think about, you know, don't think what's a hot rod got to do with church and God. But you didn't hear me until late last night when I was thinking about the trophy you gave to that couple that's just been here. The outreach and the new faces we saw yesterday. Half the cars out here and half the people out here I had never seen or heard from before. I saw an ad, I saw a post, I saw a friend. It took us all day to figure out where this guy from the PA, the PA came from, but it was Jason Hurst. You know, Jason, you can handle driving, right? And just the outreach and the how important it is to support just a share and a Facebook post or an invite or come to the car show. The couple he's speaking of, there were two best friends here <coughs> yesterday. One moved here from Johns Creek, lives in Red Hawk Ridge, and uh, the other one moved from North Carolina. They were best friends in high school. They bought houses beside each other. They moved here two days ago. Their whole home was still in boxes. They seen a post, and they brought their cars to Harmony Church for a car show. They, they were tired of moving, so they came to have fun. So, And his Impala ended up winning best of show. It was the prettiest car here yesterday. So, But anyway... Uh, anybody else got anything? So if there's anybody here on the finance committee who still comes 
All right, finance committee meeting right after church if you're here. <coughs> Brother Kip. Yeah, this, is <coughs> this past week we had, uh, and, and there's more details to come, we had some families, uh, some students uh, go some, through some real unfortunate events. And, and the church was able to step up this week and maybe help some of these families. And like I said, more details to come when all this comes out. But I just want to thank the church for being willing and, and, and able to help families when, when uh, needs come arise like that. And, and it was, it's going to be a great thing. I, I think this, these families may be able to help even into the future when things settle down. Uh, but I just want to thank the church for being willing and, and able to help uh, needy families like they did this week. So. Yeah. Uh, also, today is our normally scheduled conference because of things that have went on. Uh, we're going to postpone today's conference until next week. We have to do conference next week. Okay. Thank you for that. And as Kip mentioned that also, too, Becca, do you have anything you want to say? Anybody else? Let's remember how fortunate we are. Count our blessings. We're here. We're able to worship. So with that said, let's worship today. Let's all stand to our feet. Anthony, you lead us in one more. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer. The box is out front for the offering. We appreciate you using that as we're still social distancing with not passing the plates. So if you want to Put it in the box you can if you want to give it to a deacon just give it to a deacon it'll make its way to the treasurer so thank you for that no we love you no we appreciate you today let's do all things god's required of us today let's worship let's praise him let's have a good time and let's enjoy what god has made wesley mason will you lead us in a word of prayer
is the joy in our heart. So as we sing this this morning, let's, let's worship him and let's sing this to him. <laughs> something just for a moment. Betty Ann's bulletin, things that have transpired, <clears throat> lets me know that God's in control of all things. Amen. As we begin to get our message ready this morning, 
and it talks about faith and faith with works. Some things happened, and, and, and I was going to wait till the end, but Matt, do you want to stand up and share what the youth, will you please? We talked with the youth leaders, and I just, we, we talked about it, and we want to take 10% of what we made after costs and donate that to the families that are having the problems right now. Amen. Amen. That's huge for a church. Amen. And we don't make decisions like that quickly. We make them following the Lord. And when he says to do something, we should do it. You'll understand a lot of this more when I read the scripture in a little while. And this song. But ain't God good? Amen. And I know that's not a word, ain't, but ain't God good? <laughs> Harmony, he has blessed you so much. And if this is the song she was practicing earlier, I want you to think through this while she sings and while they sing together and play how blessed you are. It's his breath in our lungs. It belongs to him. We got up this morning on this side because God seemed fit to give us another opportunity to live another day and to be a light for him. Do you understand that this morning? God give us a chance to be a walking, talking, speaking vessel for him today. And to make a difference in somebody else's life. So while she does this and while we continue to get ready for the scripture, which I, I'm telling you today, I, I am emotional today. I am. But I want you to be emotional today. I want you to have a connection with what God's doing in this place, this moment, right now, with you individually. And if you've not got there yet, you say, well, we don't want to come to the altar because people are gathered around. I had a thought this morning and didn't know how I was going to work it in. When you step through the front step, through the threshold, when you pulled off of uh, Harmony Church Road, when you pulled off the side of 400 onto Harmony Church Road, when you got into your car in your driveway this morning and you set your destination at Harmony Baptist Church, you entered the altar of Harmony Baptist Church. Amen? Amen. You don't have to physically be in this altar, but it's time our church gets in the altar today. Amen. Thank you. So 
ocean dries, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine, without borders let me walk upon the waters wherever you would call me take me deeper than my feet could ever wander and my faith would be made stronger in the presence of my savior spirit lead me where my trust is without
come and she's requested we open the doors of the church <laughs> we do this under four headings by experience of grace the Lord saved her soul and you want to come as a candidate for baptism by letter from a sister church the same faith and order under the watch guarantee a letter can be obtained from a sister church the same faith and order or for some reason you can't get your letter and we can't contact the church and you want to come by statement of salvation and baptism by submersion so as we open the doors of the church, Katie has come as a candidate of baptism. I'm going to let her share her statement with you. So well, last night I made a deal with Zach that I was going to join the church, but I kept doubting it and doubting it. I was like, there's no way. Well, then Sadie and Kinsey started singing today, and we got into it in the car about it. And I just was like, I've never like really prayed about it to do it or not. But I really felt like I needed to. I couldn't sit down any longer to do, like, just sit there and listen to it. And I really felt like God wanted me to join the church. I was saving my granny and papa's a while back. I don't even remember. But I remember it was one of the best days of my life. And I do want to join the church and be a member and lead by God's example. So if you'll have me, I would love to join the church. Baptism. Got a motion in the second. She be received as candidate for baptism. Be any discussion on this? All in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Nay. I just have it. Motion carried. <clears throat> Thank you. 
See, I got a text that said not today. I have... Well, I, I really don't know that I can talk. Uh, God's good. I'm faithful for this church. I'm faithful for the spirit. I want to come under the watch care until my letter can be uh, obtained from Cold Mountain Baptist Church. I would love to uh, come into the watch care also until my letter can be obtained from Cold Mountain Church. And just want to uh, tell everybody how thankful we are for this church and we love all y'all. We'll accept them both as a couple from under the watch care from Cold Mountain Baptist Church in Cumming, Georgia. Would it be your pleasure? Motion in the second. The main discussion on this. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, nay. Ayes have it. Motion carried. Um, we're not going to wait till the end. If you want to come around, you can. Uh, Those of you that's lost a parent knows what it's like to have a void. And it seemed like when that happened, God started pouring a filler in there way before when David Hart would reach out to me on a daily basis, way before Dad ever got really close. And David, I've shared this with you. You've been a great mentor for me. I love you. Not putting anybody above anybody else, but David knows how my heart feels for him. But David goes to bed early. <laughs> and some of the times that I used to talk to my dad the most was when I would be coming back from out of town or late at night or whatever it might have been. And because dad was up all night in pain and I would get to talk to him. And there was still a void. Well, then the Lord sent Terry and Terry just jumps in the truck and goes with me when I do things. They're a special couple to us. And last night when Zach was going to eat that sausage ball with grape jelly on it so Katie would join the church, that was the deal. <laughs> Zach has never eaten jelly a day in his life, I don't think. And then Katie was watching for him to swallow and hoping he would spit it out, you know, the bat thing. I thought to myself, it don't feel right that you got to make a deal. Then I got the text from Terry this morning, Katie's not sure, she's not, you know, just, just don't do it. And it broke my heart, it really did, but I was still thinking, God move her, God move her. God moved her and God moved her. Amen. I love you guys. And I'm going to extend the right hand of Christian fellowship to all three of them. And then after ordinance of baptism with Katie, we'll extend the right hand of church fellowship. And after we get the letter. And, and I don't know how to do this with COVID-19 and social distancing. But by a show of hands, how many of you want to come hug their neck right now? Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not at fault.
just for a minute. I know good and well y'all don't expect me to preach after that. Amen? <laughs> Somebody clapped. I heard that too. Hey, can I say you can say whatever you want. So yesterday, and what was it, Friday night, Mike and I were talking, and I said, I said, Lori, uh, Lori and them must have joined when we were at church one day or something. I was like, they're busting their tails working for us. And I was like, that's awesome. And so they were working for us, and they weren't even members yet. And I was like, yeah. Free labor. <laughs> Free labor. They did the worst job of the whole car show. They did the sign job. I'll say this again. It wasn't just Lori and Terry and others, but everybody. Anytime somebody walked through and said, I need someone, there was somebody standing up volunteering. It was awesome. I want to read one section of scripture to you. I want you to remain standing. It's going to be very, but John, if you would put up the last slide that I had for today. And this came Tuesday. Call his name. And you wonder why I've been so emotional today. I will call upon his name. My first part of scripture I was going to read was about the woman at the well that had tried everything, or the woman with the issue of blood that had tried everything. And she didn't even have to call the name of Jesus. That's the point I was going to get across. She didn't even have to call the name. She just had to humble herself and get down and reach out and touch the hem of his garment. Amen. Thanks be unto God today, we don't have to get down and crawl on our knees and reach out through the press of a crowd to get a hold of the hem of a garment of the Messiah. All we have to do is call his name. Amen. But this is what the book of James says about it in the second chapter, the 14th verse. And I want to read this to you, and this will go a long way. We had faith that we was going to have a car show. We had faith it wasn't going to rain, so we put in the work. But then what happens, we get here this morning, and we have enough faith that God has blessed us enough. We're going to give a percentage of that, which I, I want to tell you something, 10% belong to God anyway. Amen? Amen? I can preach on tithing this morning if you want me to. The box is still out front. They ain't counted it yet. <laughs> Nobody's going to know you're late. Nobody's going to know that you've took COVID-19 off and you've not given 10% the whole time. 10% of everything we do belongs to God to begin with. It's called tithing. Now, an offering is what you want to give beyond that 10%. Amen. Now, I'll get, uh, yeah, that's another Sunday, another service. <laughs> Thank you, youth group. Thank you Amen. that we took that and we said, God, you give it to us, we're going to give you some of it back. I'm going to tell you something, Harmony, and I mean this with all the time. You keep doing things like that. You keep doing things like that. You might as well get you a general contractor. Gabe, get ready. And Kip, get ready. We're going to have to bust walls out and move this place bigger. That'd be all right. That'd be all right. Amen. All right. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. You little fat preacher's got a vision of that, too, if you don't know it. If you don't know it, there's a vision of that. David, you talk about my vision all the time. Every time I drive down this driveway, God reminds me of that vision. Harmony's not going to remain like this. I'll say this on the authority of God today because of what I'm about to read to you. Harmony will not remain like this if we follow God. Listen to me. James chapter 2 verse 14, it says this. What doth it profit, my brethren, that though a man say he hath faith and hath not works? Can faith save him? Listen to me real close. If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, then one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be you warmed and filled. Notwithstanding, you give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit? We could have walked away from here today and said, I'll pray for those two little families. But we wanted to make an impact, so we gave something. Amen. We can't just say we'll pray for you. We've got to act for them. Listen just a little further. Even so faith, if it has not worth, is dead being alone. Yea, a man may say, thou hast faith and have, and have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew you that thee, my faith, be my works. Wow. 
I'm going to pray for you, so I'm going to stop right now and I'm going to pray for you. Amen? I read to you several names off that prayer list. How many of you have already started praying for them? It'll go on just for a minute. Thou believest there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. What does that mean? If we call upon his name, Satan gets further and further and further away from us. He don't want to hear it. And I want to tell you something with, with all authority of God today. If Harmony Church can keep doing the things we're doing, Satan will be far removed from this place. And you will see works of not only faith, but works of God and miracles in this place. Listen to me just a little further. But wilt thou know, O vain man, thy faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? You saying I can have faith and I can do works and it's not going to cost me anything. Abraham had faith and Abraham had works, but it was going to cost Abraham something. You know what? Abraham was willing to take Isaac up and lay him on the altar. He went to the place God directed him to. He knew nothing the day before. He knew nothing. Listen to me real close and I'm going to close. He knew nothing when he saddled up that ass and began to ride out. He had everything for the offering. He had everything to build the altar. He had his son that he was willing to sacrifice his life and God said, go. Go. I want to tell you something today. Don't put on blinders. Be willing to go wherever God sends you today. Amen. And some of you today were willing to go to an altar. And you made this service. You made this day. You preached this message today. Call upon his name. If all else fails in this world, call his name. How many of you hear bad news and say, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus? How many of you ever hit your hammer or finger with a hammer? Jesus wasn't the first thing come to mind, was it? <laughs> but it should have been. But it should have been. I want you to know today that you've witnessed the true working power of God. I put these together Monday or Tuesday. I can't remember which day. Three little short slides. And all week long, I've said that ain't enough. That ain't enough. But they'll understand. This, this was my excuse, and I'm going to share this. They'll understand. Because I was here Wednesday night late. I was here Thursday late. I was here Friday late. I wasn't here on Thursday late. Excuse me. I was at a ball game Thursday night. Mike and them were here late. He called me. But every day, getting ready for this, they'll understand that I've only done this short sermon. Little did I know, God didn't even want me to preach today. He was already ready. I ask you today, are you still trying to make deals? Are you still trying to eat uh, jelly-covered sausage balls and make deals with God? I'll preach that again. I promise you I will. <laughs> Some of you are eating a lot worse than a jelly-covered sausage ball. Some of you are living life a lot worse because you're making deals. You're making deals. Well, I'll do this if you just let me slide, or I'll do that if you just let me slide, and, and we'll go back to that 10%. We'll go back to that for a minute. Some of you are making deals on that as well. And I'm going to share this with you, two statements today. First off, that ain't yours to deal with, and your life belongs to God. Amen. It's not yours to deal with. Be careful who you're dealing with today. God knows what you need. Why not accept it and succeed? Amen? Amen. We're going to sing another verse as you're standing here. If you need to move, you need to do something. That ain't the message I had, but that's what God wanted. Call his name. I told you at the beginning of the service, we came to worship him today. Did you come to truly worship him? Josh, did you come to pour your heart out to God today? Amen. Amen. How long has it been since you just opened up the floodgate, Kelly, and said, God, take me and use me? Boy, I, I bet you right now, if, if God, I, I bet right now if you were facing a doctor's appointment tomorrow to where you had to walk in and, and determine whether you had an illness, a, a deathly illness, 
Boy, you'd be prayed up today, wouldn't you? I want to come and praise him before uh, I find out I've got cancer, before I find out I've got some uh, disease of some sort. I want to get in here and I want to pray. I want the Lord as close to me tomorrow as I can. Well, guess what? I have no doctor's appointments this week. I don't have a lot to do this week other than come and sit and prepare for next week. But guess what? I want him as close to me as I can. So I'm going to praise him this morning. We're going to sing another song. What do you need to do this morning? Let's Mike's praise him this morning. Let's... Hold on a second. Mike's got something. share something with you. Satan tried to rob all that. Because yep. first thing Friday, me and Mike didn't see eye to eye on something. <laughs> and y'all know my stubbornness and Mike's stubbornness, and they met. <laughs> but I want you to know what happened, and this is a statement to what we all have to do sometimes. Within an hour, Mike comes back and he goes, I'm sorry, and I told him I'm sorry. And we worked together and we got it done. Several times through the day yesterday, Mike would come by and he would pat me on the back and he'd say, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Good job. And I would go by him and I'd say, Mike, good job. This is great. We ended up being each other's biggest supporter through this. When at the beginning, I thought we were going to be Moses and the Amalekites fighting each other. <laughs> But guess what? It worked. I've told some people, surely, thank you, Mike, for all the organizing and all the work. But I've told a lot of people, like, said, surely he has worked all year gathering up good, <laughs> as much as there was, half the gymnasium full of cars. Surely it's taken all year. I'm amazed to hear that. Apparently I was. Just didn't know. <laughs> we didn't put a wheel in the shed a couple, well, in the middle of the year. Well, a while back, but that was it. 
will provide. Amen. Hey, Tony, on that, I want to I make a comment. You know, today we're supposed to have a conference, and pretty much the reason we're not having a conference today is because of my fault. I forgot that this was our third month, so I didn't have the paperwork ready. Um, but hopefully I'll have it ready by my next Sunday. But I've been thinking about stuff for the last couple of months. It's been a rough year. A lot of people. And there's a lot of organizations out there that need our help this year. So y'all be here next Sunday and y'all be ready because we're going to try to have a plan in place. We have truly been blessed this year with membership, with the Holy Spirit being here every Sunday, um, financially, everything that a church could possibly want. We, we have been blessed with it. And I hope next Sunday we can open up our hearts and bless a lot more people. Because we just, we just need, I mean, just imagine how good y'all felt today with, with what we did today. Could you imagine we do it on a, a, a larger scale? Y'all yeah. may kick me out before it's all over with. Uh, y'all just be ready. Y'all pray about it. And uh, we'll see y'all here next Sunday. I don't think you have nothing to worry about. You'd been gone long before now if we wanted to get rid of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tommy, um, Tommy, 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 we are getting ready to have names for the annual tree. Yes, ma'am. So please, if y'all know of a family that's got children that we can put on there, give me the ages and the names. But Becca's kids that she's talking about will be on there. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else? Thank you, Terry. Anybody else? We've got a wedding today at 4.30 as well. Hope, Foster, and Caleb Frady are going to get married over at Grizzle Farm Road today. 
Um, it was so exciting. Their little daughter was running down the aisle Wednesday night and Tina can, she was here. She said, Mommy and Daddy's getting married. Mommy and Daddy's getting married. <laughs> and Josh and Megan, they're here with us today. Terry's son and future daughter. They should have done been married, but COVID had different plans. Right, Josh? <laughs> so next June, is that right? Next Memorial Day. Next Memorial Day. You better find out the date, not just Memorial Day. <laughs> Yeah, and and I'll, I'll go ahead and go here. Jacob's got real nervous and started. <laughs> and Jacob's like looking down, like, is this not over yet? <laughs> so Jacob, we're praying for you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that was the break-in. Now here comes the real test. Can you can you hang around? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on now. Anybody else? I'm going to throw this out there just because I think I can. I might be told I can't. But if Mama can't get out of the house and she wants to be baptized, there's a swimming pool in the back. Yeah. We'll take baptizing over to Mama's house if that's okay with y'all. <laughs> Katie, you know that option's available. So if Mama... strange you say that because that's exactly where I was baptized. Well, like don't let that hinder you, Katie. If we need to go to Grandma's house, we'll go to Grandma's house. Amen. See, <clears throat> Terry's got to cook, but we'll go. <laughs> Anybody else? I know this has been a strange service, but when God does it, he does it in his timing. Amen. No, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you. Hope you have a blessed week, a blessed day. Um, if you feel moved or whatever, you can still reach out to Seth or Becca um, on both families. Becca's got Venmo set up, all that. Whatever you want to do to help her. Just reach out to her and say if on that. Amen. Uh, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. I'm going to ask our chairman of the deacon board, Kip Brady, if he'll lead this prayer. It'll be our dismissal. I want you to think about something right quick as Kip led that prayer.